Hi everybody, it's Adele and welcome to my channel Sofa Serenity where I talk to you about my sewing journey, talk to you my love, about my love for fabrics, patterns and dressmaking and we have life and sewing chit chat along the way. So if that's something that sounds of interest to you, keep on watching. Welcome back to all my regular viewers and if you're new here I hope you enjoy my vlogs and consider subscribing. Today's vlog is my Friday Sews vlog where I talk to you about what I've been doing in the world of sewing and what my plans are for the week ahead. So I hope you enjoy. So this week has been a really, really busy week. It's been the start of the summer holidays. My two chil older children have gone away with their dad to um, Turkey. So it was getting them all packed up for that and ready to go. I mean, yeah, it's just been a really mental, busy week um, in life, really. Um, so what have I been up to, you'll want to know. So the main thing is um, I finished some of my projects that were stuck in my not work in progress just cut out pile I suppose and one of those things that I finished was um my little outfit for Alice that I had cut out so those of you might remember that I purchased this really lovely um fabric that had turtles all over it and it was really inspired by some labels that I was sent by Crafty Clyde which were of um totally amazing little labels um, so yeah, I was really inspired by those labels that she gifted me and I really wanted to um, do them justice with some lovely fabric. So I made Alice um, a Explorer Raglan t-shirt from Waves and Wild in this turtle um, fabric and also some lightly negging shorts and they were, she loves that outfit and wears it quite a lot. Well, I had... Um, I wanted to be able to have her, her to mix and match that t-shirt and shorts so I'd purchased some of this green fabric as well this green cotton jersey um from once upon a fabric when I, which is where I purchased the turtle fabric from and I cut out I only had half a meter so I cut out the amber vest which is a free pattern from waves and wild and another pair of the lightning legging shorts and sewed them up and I've stuck on the little turtly amazing label again there so she's got a pair of shorts that she can wear with the t-shirt and then um i've also done an um, the amber vest and then what i did was i used the fabric some leftover fabric that i had from the turtle fabric to make this contrasting trim on the neckband and around the arms which i think is really cute and then obviously put on the totally amazing um label as well so i'm really pleased with those i've got a picture of alice in them um although she wasn't really playing um the posing game as good as she normally does um but there that's a nice so instead of just two outfits now sorry instead of um just two outfits you can mix and match those up so she's got four outfits basically um which is really really nice and i just love this waves and wild combination of patterns they're just absolutely amazing i can't praise waves and wild enough for their patterns i haven't made any adult patterns yet but i have got the heyday dungarees in the children and the adult version which i'm really keen to sew up so yeah i'm really pleased that i've finished finished those off and then the massive news in the whole world of sewing is I finally finished my dragon fruit dress from Caramia Mal. Is it Caramia? Karam um, they. This is the pattern. So this is the dragon fruit dress, and it's this um, baby doll style dress, which has got this beautiful frill detail, uh, ruffle detail along the arms and along the neckband here. There is another view which has that admitted, but there we go. That's BB. So you can see that you can make the dress without the frills, but where's the fun in that? So as you know, I was sharing that I was having some real problems with this um, dress. I was I kept making mistakes. I kept having to unpick it um, several times. Couldn't get the ruffles to line up. And yeah, it was just a complete headache. I made it in this beautiful um, gingham that I got from the Fabric Revival that's got this peach tone and then this lilac colour over it. Um, and this is a pigeon wishings fabric um, that Marie had in 
from um, In The Fabric Revival and I ordered it, 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 she had it in and it sold out and then she said she, she put on Instagram that she was getting it back in stock so I pre-ordered some straight away as soon as she said that was happening. Um, and yeah, I finished my um, dress and I am really, really, really pleased with it. It really, really was worth the effort and perseverance. Um, I need to just trim some of the threads off it because it's got a few threads hanging down. But yeah, um, oh, that's the front. Um, it's really, really flattering. Fits lovely. Um, love the ruffle detail. And the, the only problem I had was... If you notice on the on the dress there, it does come up quite short on, on the model there. She's actually the designer as well. It does actually come up quite short and I didn't really think about that when I was cutting it out. And actually in the instructions it does say to add length if you want to because of how short it is. Um, now, I'd already cut it all out by the time I read that part of the instructions and I tried it on and... I mean, it wasn't indecent, but for me personally, the, my area that I like the least on my body is my thighs. Um, and I think that's like the widest part of my body. So I didn't, I don't really like them to be on display like that, really. Um, and it just, you know, if you bent over or anything like that, it was too short. It would have been fine for a beach cover up or something like that. But for a day-to-day -day dress, it just wasn't right. Now, I did have a little bit of fabric left, and I made a ruffle. So on the bottom of the dress, I decided to make a ruffle. Um, and I did have to piece it together out of several pieces. So it has got, like, seams across it. But I did try, where possible, to match up the um, checks. And I'm really pleased with how that ruffle's come together. And I actually prefer it with the ruffle. Um, I'll insert some photographs of me in it so you can get the full effect. And you can probably see if it didn't have that ruffle on it, it would be really, really short. Um, but yeah, I, I, I think I will make this pattern again. I'd like to give it another go now that I've gone through and made it. And I am really pleased with um, the overall um, the overall look and feel and I feel really good in it so that's a really really nice testament and even though I'm a bit as I keep talking about I'm a bit bigger um than I normally would be um I actually felt really lovely in that in this and I think that's a really good testament to a great pattern where the sizing's right everything fits your you perfectly and because as a result of that you feel brilliant in it and that's definitely true of this dress um yeah i i'm i, I'm, I am a fan of it i found the instructions difficult um i think that might just be me i don't know i think you'd struggle as a beginner to do this um without getting your own picker out but um overall i definitely recommend this pattern and i am looking forward to making up some more of them uh, I did talk about the sizing that I made in my last um, vlog, but I'll just quickly go over it. The sizing is quite good. It's got different um, blocks. It's got the straight block, a curvy small block, and a curvy large block. I went with the curvy small block, um, and I think I made the size... Let's have a little look. Yeah, I made the size 6 which is a 36 bust and a 29 waist. And um, the reason why I went with that is because that, that is my bust measurement. The waist measurement, although is a bit under my waist measurement, a bit smaller than my waist measurement, the finished garment measurements for the waist were 44 and a half, 43 and a half inches. So there's quite a lot of um, ease in there for me. Um, so I felt that would be sufficient. So yeah, that is my dragon fruit dress by Caramea. So the other thing that I've done this, this week is I have cut out my McCall's shirt um, that I got from Crafty So-and-So as a free pattern that they were just giving away when I went for my workshop. Now I talked about this pattern, this is called the Josie um, and I'm making this version here which is version A um, which has a lovely um, lovely collar, these lovely folded over um sleeves and then yeah it's got this lovely yoke across the top um 
I am making that in a wonderful cotton poplin that I got from um, when I went to the creative craft show and I've actually cut this out um, and actually started to sew it up and I'm really really happy with how it's coming together I really really like it um, let me just show you um, I'll just move stitch my model in right here we are this is the Josie shirt dress which is the McCall's 8030 and I've made it in this wonderful um, sunflower cotton poplin that I got as I say from the creative craft fair um, I haven't sewn the collar on I've just pinned it on at the moment but oh the collar was such a joy I really really enjoyed making the collar and I'm really happy with what it looks like um, there's this lovely little bit of gathering here in the yoke and it's the same on the back it's got a little bit of gathering here it's got lovely deep pockets which is great we all love a pocket and um, it's got this lovely um, band for the buttons down the front which is really beautiful I'm really happy with the top stitching the fabric was such an easy sew to make it's got these grown on sleeves um, yeah I'm, I'm really really happy with it I'm really enjoying the make of it and I'm taking it quite slow um, so the next next steps will be to put the collar on so the collar on um, and the collar stand um, and then we'll be looking at um, putting the sleeves on um, and also doing the buttons and the buttons holes but it's pretty much done then i think and hemming it and um, it's got a lovely kind of dipped hem as well um and yeah i just think that's going to be a really lovely dress to wear shirt dress to wear um i have made the medium the 12 to 14 um based on the measurements i was a bit worried about it coming up a bit big but i think it's going to be just right and when i lose i lose a bit more weight it'll fit um, perfectly and um, yeah I'm really happy with it I can see a lot more of these in my future as I say I really want to make the longer dress version um, but I just need um, a lot more fabric to do that um, so yeah once I've made this as my twirl wearable twirl I will definitely be making some more on the horizon I haven't got any buttons for this yet I need to have a look in my stash um, but I'm thinking maybe some kind of wooden button would look really nice. Um, or maybe some light green. I don't know. I'll have to have a little look which ones I think will go. But yeah, I'm really, really happy with this one. And for a free pattern, I think it's brilliant. If you've got this in your stash, I really recommend you making this shirt dress. It's really, really lovely. So what else have I been doing this week? Well, I received my Little Miss So-and-So um, so special subscription box that I get um, gifted by Little Miss So-and-So um, in exchange for a review. And um, I've started to sew up that. And it, it, for those of you um, that don't know, every single month I get to select a pattern, either a woven or a knit. And I also get to select the fabric to go with that. And what I do is I do my video all in one go. I do the selection process. I do receiving the order and unboxing. And then I also reveal the make at the end. Um, and I've been able to do that because they're quite quick sews. Because both of my last boxes have been knit patterns. So I'm halfway through making the item that I selected. And I aim to get that video out with you by the end of the week. If you want to see my previous video, I'll link the card here. And you can see um, the ebony tea that I made with my last um, so special um, subscription box um, I also got a lovely gift from my husband which was the fabric godmother dream wardrobe box and I've done an unboxing for that which I will put up here um, and link the card um, now I did actually um, have a bit of an issue with the fabric um, I didn't spot it one of the viewers spotted it when I was displaying it there was actually a hole in the fabric um, but because it was a broadery on glaze it was, wasn't easy to see because obviously broadery on glaze has holes in it um, and yeah so that's one of my viewers spotted it and when I looked at it I, it had got a hole in it so I emailed um, the Fabric Godmother team and they responded really quickly apologised and are sending me a new um, piece of fabric out in the post so that was really really good you know nobody minds when these things happen as long as they get resolved really well and, and their customer service was excellent so that was really really positive but yeah, if you want to watch that unboxing, I'll link it, um, my card to that. 
So that is what I have done this week. Um, as I say, it's not been a massively busy sewing week um, because of everything else that's been going on, but I'm hopeful that this week ahead I can make a bit more progress. Um, so my plans, my plans for the week ahead, I have got quite a few things that I really need to do. I need to edit my sew along for the Cisco dress by Named Patterns, which is pretty much finished and get that uploaded. I want to cut out my Carolyn pyjamas, which is my, um, which is my collaboration with the lovely Emma from Sew Do It Emma. I've cut out the pattern pieces, uh, stuck the PDFs together and cut out the paper pieces. I just need to cut it out on my fabric. Um, I've also, um, in the office next week, um, I've got a project going live and when I have a project going live, I need to be in, in the office. Um, so I have got the commute for three days out of the five next week, which will mean I have less sewing time because I do do some sewing in the morning before I start work and of an evening as well, before the kids get back from childcare. Um, so I will have less time for sewing, uh, but I'm really keen to get a dress sewn up for work. I really want to um, make the Westcliff dress by Friday Pattern Company um, in like some kind of viscose jersey that I've got in my stash. I think that'd be a really nice wrap dress to wear to work. Um, so I don't know if I'll get time to do that over the weekend, but that would be my aspiration to get done. So in other news, I want to talk to you about some plans for my vlogs that I've got coming up. So as I said, I've got the sew along that I will be um, putting out there at the hopefully next week sometime for the Cisco name dress, name pattern dress. And then I also am going to change how I talk to you about my plans. So what I've decided is that every single week I talk to you about all the different plans I want to do and then I might not do them in that week. Um, so I wanted to be a bit more structured. And so what I've decided to do is I'm, going to do is I'm going to do a monthly plans vlog where I talk to you about the plans that I'd like to do for that month. So it'll probably be about four or five patterns that I definitely want to sew up in that month ahead. Obviously I'll get my head turned by other patterns that come along in magazines or get released. Um, so I don't want to commit to loads and loads of things, but there will be some five or six key pieces that I definitely want to do. And I'm going to do a monthly um, plans vlog where I talk to you about what the fabric items are that I want to do and what the patterns are. And then after that, I'm going to do a monthly makes vlog where I just quickly whip through um, all of my makes for that month. So you get to see them all in one go. I'm also got a fabric haul that will be coming soon. Um, there's been a couple of sales on. Rainbow Fabrics had a remnant sale where they were selling like three meters for 10 pounds. And I also just um, purchased some fabrics in the sale from Fabrics Galore, who have got a great sale on the moment. Now that money has all come out of the money that I've made from my D-Stash account. If you want to follow my D-Stash account, there's not that much fabric left on there now, but I am going to be loading more up um, over the next couple of days. And that is Sofa Serenity underscore D-Stash. Um, there's quite a lot of patterns on there as well. And um, yeah, so check that out. But and then the other thing that I'd like to get out this week is a Make 9 update video. Um, I noticed quite a lot of vloggers have been giving updates on their Make 9 um, and I need to refocus on my Make 9 and also would like to share my progress with it and also I have got some tweaks that I make into my Make 9 as well um, in respect of the specific pattern that I'm going to be doing. Um, so I want to talk to you about that as well. So I'm hoping to get a couple of those quick vlogs up um, next week as well. So it's been quite a quick vlog for me today. Um, I say that every time and then actually look at when I'm editing, it's really long. But anyway, um, so that's all from me for now. I hope you've enjoyed this vlog. And if you have, please click the like button. If you don't already subscribe, please, please, please consider subscribing. It would mean the world to me. And if you want to support my channel any further than you already do by just watching me, um, I do have a Kofi account where you can buy me a coffee. And um, yeah, yeah, any money that goes into that, I reinvest into the channel through way of content or um, equipment for my vlogging. I hope to see you all soon and that's all from me. Happy sewing! Bye!